All right, good morning, people. Good morning, good morning, guys. We are in Kyoto and we, we are, are whispering because it is so early. Today, <laughs> we were up early. at 4.30 in yep. the morning. We set our alarm. It is now 5.20. Yep. And we are up this early because we're going to be visiting Fushimi Inari Taisha, yep. which is that famous shrine with the 10,000 red gates, the Tori. Yeah. So, yeah. And the time to visit apparently is as early as possible. As early so. as you can because it gets very crowded. Yeah, we have to take so, the train. Yeah. We have to take a, a couple trains there. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we're just walking to the station at the moment. Alright guys, so we have made it to Inari Station. It was just five minutes from Kyoto Station, which is the central train station here in the city. And yeah, we came here on the Nara Line. And one thing that I'm finding super interesting about the station here, Inari Station, is that it's painted kind of like this orangey red, just like the Tori gates that we're going to be visiting. If you guys are wondering what summer in Japan is like, listen to this. These are the it's not, cicadas. It's not the sound of music. And so it begins. We are entering the path lined with Tories, the Tory gates. Apparently there's 10,000 of them here, which is nuts. And in this stretch, the Tories are like really close to each other. Sometimes you only have like a few millimeters in between, sometimes a few centimeters. But yeah, they are densely packed here. Let's talk about why we got here so yeah. early. In the so some time. of you may be wondering like, why on earth did you get up that early? <laughs> and there's two really good reasons. Firstly, it is in the thick of summer right now. Yes. We are in the middle of July, meaning the weather is disgustingly hot and humid. Hot and humid. And so to get here before it gets really, really hot and humid was a huge priority. Mm -hmm. And the second reason is just to beat the crowds. Apparently from like seven, eight onwards, it gets really, really busy here. Mm -hmm. So. We arrived and it, you know what? We've been walking for a while. It's still it's 6.45 right and now. We're doing great. We're doing great. And we've seen people, but not too many. Yeah. So it's been wonderful. We've definitely had sections where it's just been us for a little while. Yeah. And I have to say, it's actually quite cool in here because of it the is. foliage and there's a yes. nice breeze. You've got like a little stream trickling yeah. by. I mean, I'm still sweating, but not as much as I thought I would be. <laughs> okay. So now to give you a bit of information about this place. So this shrine is dedicated to Inari, who is the goddess of rice, but she's also the patron of agriculture and of business. So a lot of people come here to pray for their businesses to do well. And in the shrine, you'll also notice these stone statues of foxes. The foxes are meant to be Inari's messengers. And one of the foxes has a key in its mouth. It's like biting down onto a key. And this was meant to be the key to the grain storage. So yeah, now you know a little bit more about this shrine. Upon research, what I found to be the most fascinating about these tour gates, first of all, there's t over 10,000 of them. Mm -hmm. It's incredible. And each of them have been donated by either a company or an individual mm -hmm. that has the individual or company's name inscribed on one on side, one side yeah. and on the other side is the date. So that's yeah. really fascinating. I know, that's a lot of donations. Yes. And apparently they donate the gate when they want a wish to come true or yes. it already has or come true. Or it already true. has come true. So yeah. Yeah, it's quite fascinating. Over 10,000 of these. Mm -hmm. So along the way you have these little stops with these small little shrines. You can see miniature Tory gates as well as little foxes. So yeah, in a way this offers a nice little break. You can stop here and rest. And yeah, we're also seeing a lot of stray cats who live here on the mountain. 
This mountain is called Inari, just like the shrine. So a little bit of information, we just spotted a sign that said that wild boars have been spotted in the area and not to approach them if you come across them at night. So now you know, wild boars roam through these mountains. Tell such me. a little cat, it's like a miniature cat. Tell me about your friend. It has such a little head. reached yeah. the end of the line for us for us anyways in the summer yeah um, yeah we found a really nice lookout point mm -hmm. the great views of Kyoto yes and uh, yeah I could win a gold medal in disgusting sweaty man I feel like we need to bring the camera right a bit closer to your face the struggle it's just, is real I'm sweaty everywhere <laughs> in places I've, I've, I haven't been sweaty before at all. <laughs> but we don't need to go there all you need to know is that the humidity is out of control in the summer yeah. and also I'm just doing a little dance here because the mosquitoes are yeah. like eating us alive yeah. bring repellent if you come in summer it's been great so, yeah. like, we, I mean we've, we've yes we've gone up a considerable ways considering yeah. you know it is the summer and I wanted to see the views and I wanted to to go as far as this point but like to reach yes. it to the top it's just it's not happening no it's just not so anyways we hope you've enjoyed what you've seen so far of Fushimi Inari Taisha yeah. And yeah we're gonna head back down and that should be beautiful as well because we've got more gates coming up yeah we'll be filming it show us Sam show us where we are oh my gosh we made it to the lookout point all that hard work that's yeah. only where we've gone I'm impressed. Like, yeah. uh, if this is the fall, easily could make it all the way to the top. But in, in, in summer, in, in, in the middle of summer, this is a this is an accomplishment. <laughs> Oh, mini on you. Oh. Frisky. Frisky cat. Taking a picture. And guys, we're here really early, but if you come a little later on in the day, there's a pretty interesting menu. There's different kinds of udon, soba, and different set meals. Fairly reasonably priced. We're seeing things from 500 yen to upwards to 900. No, actually a thousand. Mm -hmm. 